internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And guess what? I've got a, finis- a fellow Minnesotan, and her name is, I forgot already, was it Tara or Tara? It's Tara. Tara. We'll remember that now, right? Burn it into our brains. Yes. Burr, burr, burr. yes. And she's from Minnesota, where I'm from. Minnesota, for cripe's sake. So, welcome to the Synergy Cafe. <laughs> you betcha. Th- <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So the way I do these things, I just ask you a few questions and we get that know, like, and trust thing out of the way so people know that you're a real human. You're not some 15-year-old kid from Sri Lanka screwing around on the internet. <laughs> I don't know who you but, are. So tell us who are you? You got kids, you're married, you got a pet parakeet or salamander. What are you? <laughs> sure, oh, sure. Oh. Not married. Uh, in a relationship for over four years, I got a 100-pound Chesapeake Bay Retriever, so he's a big boy, big dog. Um <laughs> I'm a life coach and I'm the founder of Be Moved. Um, and I help people find happiness and fulfillment in their life. Be Moved. I like yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was actually driving home from work when I worked a corporate nine to five job and had a terrible day and was listening to a podcast. And suddenly the the host of the podcast said, if energy is drawn to movement, then let yourself be moved. And I became obsessed with that over and over again. I just said, be moved, be moved. What does this mean? And I just explored it over and over again for months. And suddenly, be moved. My website and community was born. That's really cool. Now that it, now I'm inspired by that. Because the concept of being, it sort of says you're in one space. And if you be moved, you can let spirit move you as opposed to doing things and trying to push or all that kind of stuff. So you can just exactly. be moved. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yes, yes. It was a pure um, moment of inspiration. And I went with it. And oftentimes when inspiration comes into our life, we just kind of, we acknowledge it maybe, and then we kind of shove it away. But instead, this time, I decided to listen to it, to explore it. And ever since then, the doors of inspiration have continuously opened. So I urge anyone to do that. If inspiration's knocking, you better open that door. So that's what you do is you kind of help each other flip that, help other people flip that switch so they can see how to, that they don't have to work as hard as they think they do. Absolutely. And you don't want to try to be inspired. Let little things inspire you. You know, a smile. Connecting with you today is an inspiration. Aww. Maybe opening <laughs> up your eyes every single day is an inspiration. But just be mindful that inspiration knocks when it's supposed to. And to be open to it at all times. Otherwise, it stops showing around, showing up. So on that note, when do you like to do your work? When are you most inspired? Are you an AM or a PM person? I am an AM person. So when I wake up in the morning, I have a morning routine and it's hard for me to commit to the routine, but I make myself do it because when I wake up, I have so many thoughts going on and, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of manic actually. And I'm a really hyper person in the morning, you know, with or without coffee. But when I do my morning routine, and I'm done doing my yoga, I immediately grab a pen and paper and just start writing. And that's when inspiration, ideas, um, connections start to begin. And yeah, the morning okay. is my zone. So where do you like to do your, where do you do your, do you do your work like in your own office? Do you do it internet based or do you do retreats? Cause I'm, I'm into, I want to create some retreats in like Tulum, Mexico and Costa Rica. I've got some friends with property down there and stuff. So I got these ideas. I want to create these retreats that are sort of different than your average retreat because they end up mm-hmm. with the, with the mindset el- mindset element of it too and business and sure. lifestyle as opposed to just like a yoga retreat or. Mm-hmm. So- you know, I have an online business, so I work at home and I have my own office, which is my sacred place. That's where I do my writing. That's where I do my yoga and my meditation. I haven't had the opportunity to start my own retreat. However, I do coach people online, you know, video, or I do it face to face if you're based in the Minneapolis area. Well, do, do you do um, classes? 
I haven't yet. I haven't okay. started teaching any classes, but I would love to. I used to teach violin lessons for over a decade. So teaching is something that uh, oh, comes easy, naturally. Easy My wife was a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota, and now she's a life coach. And it, it, she, really? it's a natural thing for her because she knows how to teach. So if you sure. taught violin, you can teach how to be inspired or what is it again be moved be moved yes be moved. you can be teach people moved. how to be moved <laughs> yes yes <laughs> let's see my other question before i do my my favorite question first uh do you want to share any of the programs you might have upcoming or any books or sure. anything you got sure. going on that's new and happening sure so next monday november let's see looking at the calendar november 7th i am actually starting my stop worrying course which is a three-week online course self-paced that will teach you how to stop worrying, to categorize the types of worries that you have, to start being mindful of the types of worries that you have and what you can actually do with them. And it actually gives you self-exercises, self-worksheets um, and workbooks for self-discovery to discover really the core reason why you worry and what you can do about it, and what healthy habits you can replace your worries with. And granted, it is three weeks, but it is a continuous ongoing practice. So you receive an email every single week, but the exercises are to be implemented all week, and then you move on to week number two, and so on. So you build upon every single thing that you learn the first, second, and third week. And then if you're struggling with it, say a month later, um, if you haven't been able to get a, a, a handle on one specific worry, I urge readers and students to start the course over and over again. Habits are hard to break. And when we live in stressful um, environments, when we go to work and it's high stress, it's easy to fall into a mindset that's full of worries right. and what's happening next. Um, so Breaking the habit of worry is hard. It requires work, but it's something I'm excited to share with people. Okay, that's very cool. So we should probably get connected on good old Facebook and stuff. If you want to find mine, you just go to Follow Magic Brad. You'll find my other social media and stuff. And we should get connected on there because um, I can awesome. help promote your thing and like and share and comment and all that stuff. Oh, fantastic. Stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. It's called Synergy. Synergy yes. Collaborative is one of the, one of the websites. So here's my favorite question, then we'll be done and we'll beam this up to the universe. All right, let's do it. The big why question. Why is it you're Ooh. doing this? Why aren't you like a concert violinist? And why aren't you like maybe a dancer? Or why aren't why don't you teach like bass fishing on Lake Minnetonka or something? Why are you doing <laughs> this? My why is because I woke up when I was 30 and I had it all. I had the corporate job. I had the steady paycheck. I had health insurance. I had a retirement account. You know, I had the house over my head, the car. I had the American dream. But you know what really was going on inside? I was depressed. So depressed. And I couldn't place my finger on it. You know, I felt guilty for being depressed because I quote unquote had it all. And I was unhappy and I was unfulfilled. And I decided to do something about that. And I quit my job because I was moved. I quit my job to start being moved to help other people find happiness in their life, find fulfillment in their life, to be inspired every single day by the simple things because life is too short to worry about the money in your bank account, to worry about what you look like, to worry about what type of certificates you have or what's on your resume. Life is to be experienced. It's to be to be present right here and right now. And if you're not happy right here and right now, I urge you to do something about it. You know, you don't want to wake up when you're 90 years old on your deathbed going, what did I do with my life? Well, Cause people you're not, don't, don't realize how fast it can go. Like I told you earlier, I had that mild stroke, the little TIA thing. It, it had lasted about two minutes. Just that little, <sighs> little thing, but yeah. it could have been considerably worse. So if I, there, there's mm -hmm. things I didn't do, I'd never be able to do them because all of a sudden I'm in a wheelchair or dead or whatever. So it can happen in a blink of an eye and you have no idea when it might happen. So if you're not happy, it's, be happy. Exactly, exactly. So that's, you know, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, okay. Just be inspired, be, be fulfilled. And if you don't know how to do that, connect with people that can help you do that.
Exactly. And I'll just throw in sort of a little, not really a plug, but a promotion. I think it's very important that a person works with someone else because oftentimes you can't see it. You mm-hmm. cannot see the issues. For some reason, I'm just not happy. I don't know why it is. And someone will look at you and go, it's because they can see it just by talking with the other person, like a coach, consultant. So I appreciate you taking the time and I'm going to sign this bad boy off. and We're going to put it up to the universe like I said I do. So I appreciate you taking the time doing this. We should get connected, uh, seeing, especially seeing, seeing we're local and all that kind Absolutely. of stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll have coffee sometime. Certainly. Okay. You want to stick on? We'll talk some more. Other than that, I'm going to sign this off. Thank you for watching Synergy Cafe and thank you. Thanks for having me, Brad.